Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Naomi Rook. If you're brand new to my channel, consider subscribing. Also, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. You can check me out on Instagram if you would like to. Oh me, oh my makeup. I will have that linked down below. And uh, let's go ahead and get started with the video. Today, what I'm going to do is my spring lipstick picks. I love changing out my lipstick. Seasonally, I also wear nudes pretty much all the time, but if I'm wanting something poppy for the spring, these are the ones I go to. I wanted to show you not only swatches of these lipsticks, but I am going to do an entire full lip combo because I figured why not, and I love playing with different lip combinations, so I wanted to show you some of my favorite ones. I do have a few in the nude category, I have a few in the pink category, a few oranges, all the way from liquid lipstick, plain lipstick, lip glosses, so let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and just swatch them on my hand, and then I will do the lip swatches afterwards. So one of my first favorite ones, this is the Sugar Pill Trinket. This is a really beautiful neutral pink with gold glitter. I love how this looks on the lip. It is a really pretty neutral pink with really gorgeous gold glitter. The gold glitter stays in the lipstick and as the lipstick fades off, they fade off as well. So you're not left with this glitter on your lip. A beautiful color. I really love that one. Next is Jeffree Star Watermelon Soda. I love this hot pink beautiful liquid lipstick this is so pretty it is such a gorgeous spring liquid lipstick it's just beautiful and it looks so great with a darker nude lip and then a gloss in the middle beautiful next i have a nyx soft matte lip cream this is in morocco this is one of the most beautiful neon orangey red colors it's so gorgeous i love how they smell i love how these wear these are one of my favorite formulas and this is a fantastic spring color i wasn't super excited for spring colors until i swatched all of these lipsticks on my hand and they just got me so excited the next one this is the fenty um, mademoiselle lipstick in pumpkin rose this is such a unique color so this one i'm kind of nervous about because i still have not found a way to wear it where it looks really good it's right there i still haven't found a way to wear this lipstick because it is a very unique yellow toned orange lipstick but i want to try today maybe putting a darker lip liner on and putting this in the middle just tapping it very lightly and see if it's a little more wearable but that is a really beautiful orange color next is my absolute favorite of all time pink color this is maybelline superstay ink crayon and lead the way i love this formula i love this color this is a beautiful neutral everyday wearable pink love the formula this is a fantastic one if you are wanting to find a really good pink from the drugstore i would suggest lead the way from maybelline it's a fantastic formula and color next is ColourPop appy i love this really beautiful light peachy creamy lipstick it's right there it's such a great springtime nude this is a really incredible color and i love the formula as well Next is my Dose of Colors Brulee. Love this color, especially with a nude liner. It's so beautiful. It's a really gorgeous pale peach color. I love this lipstick. I definitely want to get more of the Dose of Colors lipstick because they're a really great formula. Another lipstick I have, this is the Physician's Formula. This is the Muru Muru Butter. This is just like a little lip balm. This isn't kind of melted in the sun, so I do need to get a new one, but this is a really gorgeous, super creamy, bright orange color. So gorgeous. Smells like pineapple and coconut. It smells like a freaking vacation. Super hydrating on the skin. That is a really great color. You can kind of see the shine right there. It's such a gorgeous color. And the last one is a really great peachy nude. This is Maybelline Vadis Beige. This is a really great light, silky, creamy kind of peachy lipstick. So gorgeous. Two glosses that I absolutely love for the spring. This is ColourPop Catalini. It's a beautiful light purple. It does have a little bit of pigment. I'm not really sure if this is even available anymore, but I love this. You would look at it and think it's a little intimidating, but it is such a really wearable light purple. What I love to do with this gloss is I love to line my lips and then just put this on top, and it's such a beautiful light shiny lip. It's perfect. My last lip gloss is the Dominique. This is the Lemonade in Peach Tea. Beautiful, really milky peach gloss. Such a beautiful springtime gloss. This one's really gorgeous. So if these lip colors don't get you in the spring vibe, I don't know what will. They're so gorgeous. This hand right here just screams spring to me. Okay, so before I take off this lip and apply the other ones, I'm just going to show you what the Dominique Cosmetics um, Peach Tea Gloss would do to just a neutral nude lip. So just applying this, it's such a beautifully opaque, light, peachy pink color. Look at that. Look at the difference with that and that. This gloss just adds the most springy-ish look to your lips for any color. 
And if you were wondering what was on my lips before, it was ColourPop Ashen Liner along with Dose of Colors Sand Liquid Lipstick. It's a really great neutral nude lip. There is that gloss on top of a neutral nude lip. It's so beautiful and very, very shiny, glossy, and just adds a perfect amount of a little peach cuteness. For the first lip combination, I really want to work with this Fenty lipstick to try to figure out a way that will be, make it wearable. So I'm going to take my Dominique Cosmetics lip liner, and this is in Crush. I'm also going to be using some of my favorite lip liners, but I use pretty much the same lip liners all time of the year. I don't really pull out any specific ones for any specific season. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with Crush, and I'm going to line my lips pretty heavily. And then wait till you see this lipstick. It's such a unique, cool, yellow-toned orange. I don't own anything like this. It's very unique. So I'm just going to apply a very tiny bit of it to the middle of my lip and see if I can make this kind of wearable. I love this lipstick with this liner. So Crush is a really great neutrally pink color. I'm going to show you a swatch of it. It's a really great neutral nude pink. I really enjoy this liner. I did get it for my BoxyCharm. That lip color is so pretty. Oh my god. Tell me this lip color doesn't scream spring. It's so pretty. Okay, so sadly I do have to remove that lip combo is so gorgeous but I do want to try the other ones I'll probably end up wearing that one today because it is so beautiful I love how that looks I want to show you the ColourPop Catalini lip gloss it's so pretty so I'm gonna line my lips with um, ColourPop Beeper it is one of my absolute most favorite lip liners it's a really great cool tone kind of mauvey color they're not gonna be perfect because I normally when I do my lip combos I do line my lips with some concealer really clean them up I'm not gonna worry about that too much I just want to show you the colors I'm not really concerned about the application as much so I'm gonna go in with this lip gloss this lip gloss is so pretty I have not played with fun lip colors in so long this is just making me so happy <laughs> oh that's so pretty I really hope ColourPop still has this lip gloss. I'm not sure if they do. I will actually check online to see if they do. And if they do, I will have that link down below. This is such a really pretty, opaque, purple lip gloss. I do kind of want to find another one like this. I wonder if the new Jeffree Star lip glosses that are supposed to be kind of opaque, I wonder if it would be like this where it's opaque but not like liquid lipstick opaque. You know what I'm saying? See the lip gloss in this color? Let me know. Okay, and then on to the next combo. I'm going to wipe this off. That one is so pretty. really love that. I'm loving doing this video because then I'm going to remember all these lip combos that I tried and I just love trying different lip combos. I think it's so much fun and nothing gets me in the spring spirit like new lip combos. I'm going to do the sugar pill trinket. I want to show you this. I'm going to use ColourPop Bound. It's a really great neutral pink but more a little bit more pink than the beeper one. This is such a pretty, very flattering pink color. And I love the glitter. You don't really see it a whole lot, but up close you do. And I think it just adds a really pretty effect to the lips. So there is such a pretty, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous spring pink color. I love this lipstick. Here's that really beautiful pink liquid lipstick. I love this. I think it's so gorgeous. I've actually used that trinket almost up completely. I am going to buy a new one because I do really love Sugar Pill Liquid Lipstick Formula. It's super comfortable on the lips and it looks so cute. For that, I am just going to clean the middle of my lips and show you really how I like to use brulee from Dose of Colors. Go back in with Bound from ColourPop and line my lips a little bit more. And I'm going to take brulee from Dose of Colors and just tap it into the middle. And that is such a pretty light peachy color. That is so pretty. And then just blend it out with my fingers. And that is a great color to do a really cute ombre lip. I love that. I decided to zoom you in just a little bit more. I felt like you were kind of far away, so I wanted you to see just how beautiful these lip combos are. I love that one. It's so pretty. All right, I'm going to take a little bit of beeper. I'm going to line my lips. And then I'm going to take Jeffree Star Watermelon Soda. This is definitely a little bit more bright than the other ones I've been trying, but it's so pretty. I tap just a little bit onto my lips. That way my lips don't look super heavy, and it just adds a really nice amount of color. And then I will just tap that out with my finger. And then there is that very bright pink look. I love this lipstick. I think it's gorgeous. 
Alright, so I removed my lipstick and then I had to apply a little bit of foundation there, getting a little stained, but that's okay. So next, I'm going to go in with some oranges. I'm going to go in with my Ace Butte. This is the So Gorgeous Lip Liner. It is a really bright red. For orange colors, you could also go in with a nude lip liner. I just really want to take it there with the red orangey lip liner. Uh, and then I'm going to go in with the Physicians Formula Murmur Butter Lipstick. The formula is not great because it did melt and it never really did go back to how it's supposed to be. But the color is really gorgeous. So I do intend on buying another one of these just because they are so pretty in color. Just tap that in. And then I'm going to use my finger to blend it in. So these lipsticks are super comfortable to wear. They look really nice. They have such a beautiful glow. Very hydrating because of the mirror mirror butter. They smell really nice. And I love how this looks. So I'm going to remove this lipstick. But I'm going to try to leave the liner. Because I have another reddish orange I'm just going to use this liner for. Next I'm going to go in with the NYX Morocco. This is such a gorgeous, really bright, vivid orange red. And like I said before, I love this formula. It's one of my favorites. And for that one, I'm going to throw in a little bit of my Beauty Bar liner. Just to give my lips just a bit of dimension. Okay, there you go. This is definitely the brightest of all of my combos. How beautiful, though. This screams spring to me. I love this. I love how it feels. I would definitely rock this look today. <laughs> I think it looks so great and with this makeup. It looks so spring and so beautiful. And for the last two, I'm not going to use a lip liner because they are really great on their own type new lipstick. So this is the Baddish Beige from like Maybelline. This is such a beautiful, really glowy, really healthy, comfortable lipstick. I should have done these two new lipsticks first because my lips are stained just a little bit. Um, so this wouldn't be quite as light pink as it is, but my lips are stained. But it's actually really kind of cute with the red stainage underneath and then this lipstick on top is actually really kind of cute. This is a really comfortable lipstick. You don't really even need a lip liner because it is such a casual, comfortable lipstick. And then ColourPop Appy, I'm just going to tap this and apply a little bit. It's a really great mid-tone peach nude. Super, super comfortable, super pretty, really nice light and peach. These two little nude lipsticks are very fun. They're really great springtime because they are more on the peachy light color. They're not neutral and they're not cool tone. So they're really good to go with all the warm peachy looks you're going to be doing during the spring. The last one is just a really wearable pink. So I'm going to wipe this off and I'm going to show you my absolute favorite pink lipstick of all times. So this is the Maybelline Lead the Way. It's just my most favorite pink lipstick. I love it. It's a little sharpener on the end so you can sharpen it and get a really great precise point every time. And then with the precise point you can just line your lips. There is Lead the Way. I love this pink. It is the most perfect everyday comfortable wearable pink. If you are looking for a specific pink lipstick that is wearable and not too over the top, Lead the Way by Maybelline is the most perfect one and it's such a comfortable formula. Alright, so they are all of my spring lip picks. I hope you enjoyed this video. I am so excited that I found a lip combo that would work for my Fenty Pumpkin Rose lipstick. That's such a really cool, unique color, and I've just not been able to find a way to wear it until now. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye, guys!